Just walked in the door from work. Froze my ass off today. It was like a high of 50 today, but on the water, the wind was howling like 40 miles an hour. It was crazy cold. So I have a lot of wind burn and got my butt kicked today. In today's video, what I want to speak about is the fact that if you are going to go after this from home, if you're going to go through withdrawal on your own in the comfort of your own home, you need to have yourself the most ammo. The You need to have an arsenal, okay? And it's not an arsenal of tricks, okay? There are no tricks, but you can do some things to help you um, be more comfortable you can do things to take away stress that you don't need added on to the stress that you're already gonna have. So your best bet is to obviously research your butt off before you start and take the plunge. Now I know everybody can't just pick a day and say, you know what, today's the day I'm gonna do it. Some people just from circumstance, they go into withdrawal, whether, um, they get cut off from their doctor from their medication. Um, somebody the other day was telling me that they couldn't even find the medication that they were prescribed in any of the pharmacies around them. I mean, there's a million different variables for why you're going to go through withdrawal. But if you have the power to do so and you're in control, you need to make a list, first of all, of all the things that you're going to need. All right. Down from, you know, water, um, Gatorade, Powerade, um, fruit smoothies, you name it, down to blankets, clean clothes, comfortable clothes, because if you've gone through this before, and I know most of you have, you know that the pleasure sensor, the part of the brain, the hypothalamus is also the part of the brain that regulates your temperature, and it gets screwed up during opiate uh, addiction and dependency. So that's why you'll jump into a shower, and well, not really jumping because you're withdrawing, but you'll go into the shower, and you'll be freezing. You'll turn the hot shower on, you'll get the chills, you'll finally get, get some warmth to you, and you'll get out of the shower, okay, and you're still hot, all right? And then out of nowhere, you're freezing cold, okay? It's almost like your body is a couple minutes behind its temperature, all right? And that's why you'll, you'll put clothes on, you'll put like three hooded sweatshirts on to cool, like to, to warm yourself up after being cold after the shower, and you'll you'll sit down, you'll go under the blankets, you'll get relaxed, and then bam, you start sweating. You're sweating, you're, you're, you're pouring sweat. Your body can't catch up, all right? Your, your temperature, um, your body temperature is all screwed up. So these are the type of things that you can plan for, all right? So when you're gonna go through withdrawal, you wanna be able to layer your clothes. You wanna have the most comfortable clothes you possibly can. You wanna be able to have somebody do your laundry for you, or if you have the ability build to, to do it yourself. You want to constantly have clean, comfortable clothes to put on because your body's going to feel like crap. Your skin, everything's going to hurt. But if you're able to just give yourself a little bit of comfort with clean clothes that smell good, things like that, um, it'll be a lot better off than you, you know, hanging around the same dirty pajamas. And you know exactly what I mean, like just sweaty, smelly pajamas because when you go through withdrawal, you have this funk and you all know what I'm talking about. It's this funk that comes out for the first three days. It's almost like your body was holding in the funk. And uh, when you start going through withdrawal, you stink. I mean, everybody stinks. So the bottom line of this video, I know it's sporadic, is that if you're going to go and tackle this from the comfort of your own home, you want to make a list. You want to have as many things as possible taken care of before you start. Because you're not going to have any energy to, you know, go out to the store and, and go food shopping. Or not really go food shopping. You know what I mean. You're not really going to want to eat. But you want to have everything you need ready to go. Um, it's almost like a war bag if anyone's ever served before. You have like a go bag that in case the shit hits the fan, you have your bag and you're ready to rock in two minutes flat. A lot of uh, special forces guys have go, go bags. Um... So you want to have everything set up, everything ready. Now, I've hit on this before. You definitely want to have something that's going to engage your mind during withdrawal. The first 24 hours, you're probably not going to want to deal with much. But comedies, uh, stand-up comedy, funny movies, your favorite movies. If you have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, 
all of these things that you're going to be able to watch TV shows, whatever that is going to be able to keep your mind occupied from wandering off and starting to think about, you know what, maybe I should go out and do this. Maybe I should go call this person, so on and so forth. So you want to be in the best mood possible. So comedies will help um, and keep your mind engaged. The other thing that is extremely important, if you have the ability to change your phone number, okay, change your number immediately. Delete every contact you have in there. It doesn't matter if it's your mom, dad, what, delete everybody, okay? The people that need to get in touch with you will, and the people that don't need to t get in touch with you won't be able to. This goes just as, as far with social media. I know from experience when I used to when I was turning and burning, I deleted like I would go and and you know take a couple of days off and go through withdrawal or whatever and I'd be like this is the time I'm gonna do it and you know the the thought would last twelve hours and I'd start using it again, but when I did I would delete the phone numbers out of my phone, but I still had Facebook, and it's like it's like you're playing a game with yourself. It's like I'm gonna delete everybody. I don't I don't want to be able to get in touch with anybody. Blah 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 blah, and then you as soon as you start itching for something you. Go on the computer, search their name. If you're friends with them already, and you just be like, hey, what's up? And it's a messenger. It's like, come on, you're not fooling anybody. Delete your Facebook. Block people. Um, if you have the ability to give all of your information to somebody else, let them control your laptop. Um, don't even go on any of this stuff. Okay? You don't want to deal with anybody. Um, you don't want to have a connection with anybody. You want to be able to stay away from all of that. Uh, popos in my apartment complex. Somebody's being bad. So, <clears throat> the arsenal, getting as much ammo as you possibly can. Get rid of your phone. Get a new phone if you can. Uh, delete all your phone numbers. Get rid of social media like Facebook and Twitter and all that other stuff. All those contacts. You need to go underground for a few days. Alright, so get as much done as you possibly can beforehand. And then get ready to ride the storm because it's going to hit you and you uh, you need to be ready to rock. Also, obviously, these videos, I put together over 400 something videos and countless times I've gotten emails and contacts from people that said they watched these videos during hard times during the withdrawal. So I guarantee you that after you go through withdrawal and you're successful in your recovery, you never want to see my face again. Because if you see my face, you might start thinking about the time you went through withdrawal. And I'm cool with that. You don't ever have to watch me again. But if I have the ability to keep your mind occupied and make you think about something else or give you a little motivation to get through the withdrawal, I don't care if you ever look at me again. All right? I did my job. All right? So hopefully these videos can help out more people. Um, I plan on doing another 400 at least. So we'll just keep them coming. Um, I am extremely low on stories. I haven't gotten any stories in the past three days. Um, and I'm hoping that there's people out there that still want to write in because I need them. The stories were, were doing really, really well. A lot of people were getting a lot of help. Um, the last about 10 stories I did were incredible. Uh, one in, in particular got a lot of feedback. And um, you guys don't even realize how much power you have. I mean, obviously, I'm the talking head of the, the, the channel. But you, I could tell your story, and your story influences people to do and change their lives. It's incredible how much power you have with your story. What you've been through in your life, no one else has. Okay, what I mean by that is every story is unique. But little parts of each story can influence or even people can relate to it. No one's going to be able to relate to every possible thing you're going through. But... 90%, 95% of this stuff, yeah. I mean, people can, they can relate. They can, they can put themselves in your shoes and be like, damn, if this, if this talking head, this dummy right here can get clean, I could do it too. All right. So this video was um, pretty much all over the place. And I'm usually more uh, organized, but I felt like just going for it today and, uh, you know, just keeping it real and just talking. So get yourself uh, as much information as you possibly can beforehand. Get a, a whole bunch of clothes ready, food. I know you're not going to have much of an appetite, but you're going to have to eat something. So just take care of as much as you possibly can beforehand. And if you can, get a few close people that you know and trust 
to look over you every once in a while. Um, if you can have somebody by your side at, at all times, that's incredible. And uh, just go for it. I mean, that that's what this whole channel is about, is getting your life back together and, and taking off. Because so many people I've met have just taken off and after their withdrawal and gotten clean and just have done incredible things with their lives. And it's inspiring every day. And that's why I do this every day. Because each and every one of you has a purpose. And it's not to be numb the rest of your life. Okay? Uh, so write in. You can write me at uh, ryanacopsport.com. The subject line, put YouTube story, my story. Let me know if you want to use your first or last name or stay anonymous. Please send me stories. Uh, continue watching. Make some comments. And uh, share the channel. Let's get as many eyes as we can on here. And uh, let's keep influencing people to do the right thing. All right? Uh, keep watching. Leave some comments. And I'm sorry this video was so long. 11 minutes. I haven't done that in a long time. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's keep it going. Thanks, guys.